I want to make a quick review of some Universal Rocks products. When I was doing some research on their Malawi rock set, I didn't really see any videos on YouTube, so I want to just give somebody who's interested a visual and a little review. So this is the Malawi rock set one as listed on their website, as well as the crystal wall background. And this is a 40 breeder tank. So for the rocks, the background and the background clips, uh, the total of $400 roughly. Uh, probably would have been a little less, but I gave them measurements to bring the background around the left side of the tank as well as the back. And then later on, before they made it for me, I changed my mind and had them just do just the background. So I paid for a little bit extra background that I ended up not getting. I also got end caps on both sides of the background, which just gives it a little bit more of a sleek look. If you didn't have them, you'd be able to just see straight behind the background from the side. And then also for anyone wondering, the substrate is a Carib C African Cichlid substrate. I wanted it to look kind of biotope-esque. I wouldn't necessarily say this is a biotope per se, but kind of gives off that sort of feel. Some of the pros of the uh, this background and rock combination, at least in a 40 breeder, is you get the sleek modern look. It's also kind of biotope-esque, as I mentioned and the rocks are super easy to clean. You can take them right out and there's no risk of breaking your glass because they're kind of made out of this rubbery sort of material. They make the rocks sink by infusing what I assume is small pond rocks into the material. And some of the cons that I wanted to go over was uh, just from my time with them. Uh, when I originally set up my scape, I had elevated some of the rocks on top of the sand rather than putting them down to where they're touching the bottom. I had one of the uh, yellow labs that I originally put in here dig his way under the rock, got stuck, died, and then I discovered him a few hours later. So definitely want to make sure if you do get these rocks, make sure that they're completely in contact with the base of the tank. Don't elevate these on substrate or anything like that. And then also another con with the rocks is if you don't lift them up after a while you get this like anaerobic base down there and it stinks and you get this gross looking almost diatomy sort of gel stuff that develops down there it's really gross since then i have taken the rocks out and i'm just using the background and i have serious stone in replace of them but i still definitely like the rocks a lot the main reason that I took out the rocks and replaced them with Sirius Stone was because I was getting too much aggression in the tank. With those rocks, there's not enough places to hide, I feel like, at least not in the 40 breeder. Um, Yellow Labs aren't a super aggressive fish anyway, but I think they like to go into cave type areas. So that's what I've put in there now for them, sort of cave systems made out of Sirius. One of the cons for the background is one of the female yellow labs had released her babies into the tank and I took a look behind the background and most of them were stuck behind the background. Since then I think have either been eaten or died in one way or another. And that's pretty much all I have to say about the uh, Universal Rocks Malawi Rock Set 1 and the crystal wall background. I do definitely recommend them, they're really awesome. Just gotta kind of watch out for some of those little nuances that you wouldn't know unless someone had told you. So, there it is.